Hello again guys and welcome back to Seed Serendipity number 18. Uh, this one's going to be a pretty big one. I covered a lot of ground when I was exploring this seed and I think you will too if you try this out. Uh, it's a lot of fun, really good seed for exploring. But Seed Serendipity 18, we're on creative and we're actually on large biomes. And the seed we're going to be doing today is something you should be able to remember. It's Fedrin, no capitals, no nothing. So large biomes, here we go. Even just the beginning of the world is worth checking out, I think. Definitely a lot of fun. Just to give you a heads up, uh, this is a bit of a longer video, uh, as I've already said, but during the video I'll be detailing the locations of 21 villages, three dungeons with worthwhile loot, five desert temples with worthwhile loot, two exposed ravines with exposed mine shafts, pink sheep, and a sweet sandfall. So if you're interested in any of the above, just keep watching. All right, so as we start off here, we're kind of in a bit of a plains. We've got some taiga, more plains with some pumpkins and some chickens and stuff. I think we start, yeah, we started kind of facing this, this direction. No, this direction. We're facing here. Uh, I think we want to turn over this way. I think over here, it's not loaded yet. If I recall correctly, come on, load. You can do it. There we go. I knew you knew what I wanted. So here we go. Just over this way here, between these two mountains, is the first village. So put that there. And this is actually what made me continue just exploring this area. Is I came in to this first village that you can nearly see from spawn, and there was already two iron helmets, um, two diamonds, and a pick, which that's a pretty good starter gear. That's pretty nice. And there's uh, some food and some saplings, which is always good. It's always good to have that to start off. Of course, there's always the farms here, and we do start off with pumpkins, which doesn't always happen. And there's a nice swamp here if you want to get mushrooms, which I'm always a fan of. So I actually flew right by it the first time. Couldn't quite remember where it was, but I found it again. And it's just this little area here. Something about it I just love. I would definitely want to incorporate this into a build of some sort. It's so cool up on this hill. But anyways, let's continue on and find the next village. Alright, here's the second... Um, village that I found. It's actually quite a distance away from the first one, so maybe not viable, really. I mean, you could make a pilgrimage out here if you wanted to. But this is just another example of the kind of loot you'll be finding in this. So we've got iron boots, another iron helmet, more apples, but an iron sword and seven iron ingots. So at this point, we're almost completely kitted out in iron gear and armor um, with absolutely minimal effort. So uh, I'm going to just skip through the rest of the features that I've found so far, and you can follow along. Here's another one with some really good loot. Just grab this here. Ignore the zombies. Oh. Come on now. So as you can see, oh. so far uh, we are just missing one piece of armor, but we could have crafted it with the ingots we got. And we've been to three villages, and we have enough diamonds to make a diamond sword, as well as a full suit of armor, uh, iron armor, and a sword and a pick. Let's keep going. Alright, now this isn't um, loot or a village, but it is the biggest sandfall I've seen. So if you're in the area, I would say it's definitely worth a little tourist detour. Let's just give it a little a little tap. There's just something satisfying about that. And it keeps going. Oh, 
All right, but on to the next real feature. Next village. Not sure if there's any good loot in here. We'll see. Always good to replenish your supplies, though. I think um, the seed would actually be really good just for... Uh, one of those challenges where you don't actually mine anything, you only gather supplies from above ground. I think this would be really good for that. But uh, on to the next one. Now here's the first pyramid of note. Um, I actually didn't even write down the coordinates of most of the pyramids, just because they didn't have anything worthwhile. I only kept... Oh, let's pick that up while we're here. I only kept the ones, aha, that had something worth stopping for. Let's just put that in there. And we got our first enchanted book. Just fire protection one, but it doesn't hurt. On we go. Next village. Good place to resupply or settle down. No blacksmith. Great part about that village, though, is there's a pyramid. And it's actually worth stopping at. So let's check that out. See what we've got in store for us. Right. Oh, well, may as well grab it over here. Not what we're here for. But we'll take it anyways. Aha! That's much more to my liking. Now here's a little beauty. Once again, no blacksmith. Here's another nice village. No blacksmith. Good resupply station. Here's a bit of a weird one, right on a river, <laughs> and right by a tundra. But, let's go in here. Alright. What have we got here? Aha! Efficiency 5. Not too shabby. I'll take that. Another quaint little village, but this time there's actually a blacksmith, so let's check that out. See what we got. Not too shabby either. Although, as you can see, we're getting a lot of multiples of armor. So we won't be running out anytime soon. Now we're coming into the plains a bit more. Having some different kinds of villages. Still no blacksmith in this one, though. The nice thing about that village, though, is not so far away, I have a, le uh, a little bit of a surprise, which is a nice little abandoned mine shaft. <coughs> and I know there's at least one dungeon down here, adjacent to this, oh hi guy, with a nice little flame one enchantment book. Now this next village also has a nice feature, natural pink sheep. Look at me, look at me! But uh, there are natural pink sheep all around this village. So here's another one there. Uh, no blacksmith. And it's a bit of fixer-upper, but like I say, pink sheep, pink sheep, pink sheep. Next village. Uh, this one does have a blacksmith, but I'm not sure if there's anything worthwhile. Let's just double check to be sure. Got another sword, got some more food, and some more iron, and another village, no blacksmith. Nice little picturesque village, no blacksmith. Another nice village over a ravine, um, and there is a blacksmith, but once again I don't believe there's anything worth looking at. Double check to be sure. Yeah, some iron. Another pick in case I broke. And a slightly waterbound village, once again with no blacksmith. And yet another village, no blacksmith. Now here's a mostly buried uh, desert temple, but I know for a fact there's stuff worth looting in there. So let's go check that out. Aha! Unbreaking 3. I'll take that, I'll take that, ooh, and I will take that. Oh, over a stack of gold now. Now we've passed a lot of spawners in our travels, but this one is definitely worth stopping for. All right, we've got fire protection one, protection one, 
and feather falling one, as well as some more iron to add to our collection. Another village, no blacksmith. Another village not far from there, this one has a blacksmith. Let's check this out, see what we got. Alright, alright, more doubles. Um, running out of space. Here's a swamp side village, no blacksmith. Another village, no blacksmith. And here's another exposed ravine with an exposed mine shaft. Oh, and a chest. Let's peek in it real quick. Can't help myself. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Same mine shaft, different ravine. It's another, you guessed it, village. This one actually has a blacksmith though, so let's check that out. Let's see what we get. Oh, pants finally! And some more picks. We always need more picks. There we go. And there's a temple right here, so let's check this out. Not sure if this one has anything good. I'll take it. Can't say no. Oh, and infinity one! Oh, that is actually really good. Thank you very much. And here's a dungeon not so far away. Let's check what we got here. Thorns one. I'll take it. Although we're running out of running out of inventory space. Shush you. Now at this point, if we continued on, we'd be crossing the ten thousand block threshold. And I know it seems like this is really far away, like why would anyone go that far? The honest truth is, I was just discovering all the different features on this on this uh, seed and exploring naturally. Obviously, I was in creative and I was flying, but I was just having so much fun. I just kept going, and all of these areas that we've traveled through, most of them were just adjoining deserts and plains. And th so, throughout each one, I would find another, another pyramid, another dungeon, another town, and just keep going and going and going. And it's actually bordered by a lot of really interesting extreme hills as well. So, um, as you can see from my inventory, this is just from dungeons, uh, villages, and pyramids. And it isn't even from all of them. Oh, and a little bit from ravines. Um, and it isn't even from all of them because I know for a fact that I missed a lot. But over a stack of iron, over a stack of gold, nine diamonds, two iron swords, five iron picks, <laughs> well, over two sets of armor except for pants, definitely a lot of helmets and a lot of boots, but more iron armor than you could use immediately. We've got some emeralds just for kicks, and we've got fire protection one, efficiency five, flame one, unbreaking three, fire protection one, protection one, feather falling one, infinity one, and thorns one. The only really hard to get one that we don't have is Silk Touch, but there's a lot of really fun enchants and a lot of armor to use it on, and weapons, so never mind the diamonds. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for something where you can just explore the hell out of a seed, or you know, if you're trying to do the challenge where you uh, you don't mine at all and only just get your supplies from from villages and dungeons, then this is definitely a seed for you to check out. Um, I had a lot of fun, and I wasn't even I wasn't even really playing. I was just on creative. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other features you'd like me to highlight in the next Seed Serendipity, then just put it in the comments below. I'll see what I can do. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next episode.